Cancers, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Silla V Tarot. All right. It's a pleasure to have you guys here. Of course, I love you guys. So uh, let's get started. Let's jump right into it. All right. But before we start, uh, hit the like button if you uh, like this video and subscribe if you enjoy my vibe, of course. Okay. And also for those that have downloaded my video and, you know, uh, uploaded it to your channel, don't do that. Do not do that. Okay. Don't do that. All right, let's see what's going on with my cancers. Heaven on earth, abundance. Hmm. I love it already, okay? For some of you guys, you're meeting someone new. For some of you guys, like, I'm just loving this energy. I'm loving this energy already. I'm loving this, right? Heaven on earth, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling... I'm feeling good to be here, right? I'm embracing all of the abundance. I'm, embra I'm embracing the journey, right? I'm embracing the love and all the good things that I've been going through. And I've also been listening, right? I've been listening to my guides. I've been listening to myself. And I've more so, I've been listening to my intuition. And in doing so, I'm thankful. I'm showing gratitude. I'm happy to be here, right? It's so interesting because a lot of you guys maybe right now, for those that have met someone new or meeting someone new or just feeling this energy of love at this moment, I feel like more so you guys are just loving yourself, loving the um, the energy that you're in currently, whether you you feel it now or later. I feel like there's an energy of I feel content and I feel happy. And this all started once I started listening to myself allowing the divine to bring in answers through me not seeking answers from i don't know someone else that promised me love but not able to deliver it right i'm happy to be here i'm happy to have embraced higher powers i'm feeling good I'm feeling like someone is feeling your energy and they're loving it. You understand? They're loving your energy and they're telepathically just connecting with you. Okay. Whoever that may be. But okay, let's focus on this energy of listening here. Listening. Let's find out what we're hearing. Let's find out what is going on. And let's find out what the messages are. Okay, guys. Let's see what's going on. So that'd be tarot. Let's see what is going on. This may be someone that you may be in separation with here. I feel like you stepped into a place where, let me just pull that out there, where you are, I just feel like you're taking care of yourself. I feel like you're taking care of yourself, but there's this energy of, I'm actually not even doing much anymore. I'm more so listening to this person. I'm more so able to feel this person's energy, okay? Someone, this could be you or your person, but I feel like someone was very cold in the past here, all right? This came in the reverse, and I feel like they're releasing that energy, that energy of not wanting to open up, that energy of being closed off for a while. I feel like when they met you, it literally felt like heaven on earth okay they found love they found love within you they found light within you all right and i feel like this person although they would not listen to you right they wouldn't listen to their guides i feel like now more so i feel like they're embracing the truth all right okay they're listening to their higher powers they're listening to themselves they're listening to their intuition again this may be okay and we're going to clarify that but Cancers, I'm feeling like you guys are stepping into a place where you're wanting to accept love. You're embracing love. You're embracing the fact that you have to listen, all right? Definitely listening at this time. Reunion. Yeah. Definitely someone cold in the past. This person was not talking. This person wasn't trying to hear things out. We have soulmate. Yeah. This person could be an earth sign or a fire sign. Earth sign here. I feel like this person does not want to let go of you, Cancer. 
Okay. They do not want to let go of you. I feel like this person's having dreams about you. I feel like this person is understanding the love that you were trying to get through to them at some point. And I feel like you guys are in a place where you're just releasing resistance. Definitely this person was cold at some point. Blocked you. Shut you out. Okay? Blocked your energy. Didn't really want to open up. Wasn't ready. Wasn't listening. Not understanding once we're soulmates, we're connected, right? But I feel like you guys came into a position where you decide to just listen, right? This person would call me, they would talk to me, but I would listen to what they were really trying to say through their words of coldness or trying to push me away. I would hear them, right? I would hear them. And for some, like, I keep hearing that some of you guys are dreaming about this person. You're dreaming about this person, but I feel like more so now you're okay with walking away. Okay. Also, for some of you guys, you've met someone new and I feel like you're actually hearing this person's heart. You're allowing this person to talk and you're actually listening. But it's like a different type of listening, if you understand what I mean. It's like, um, I'm listening to this person's truth. Right. I'm listening to this person's word. Like I'm actually putting myself in positions now where people actually have to, you know, not only talk, but actions. Actions mean a lot now. And if I'm moving forward into any sort of relationship, I'm listening carefully. I'm listening to my intuition, right? I'm putting myself at the highest of high regards. I'm loving myself. I'm not being cold towards me anymore, right? I'm not shutting me out anymore just to listen to this person. I'm open. I'm opening to listening to you and me, right? So I feel like this person was quiet for a very long time. And I'm feeling like this person's not wanting to let go of you because the memories were definitely heaven on earth, okay? So I love you, Tarot. I feel like this person loves you. Okay. I feel like this person is in a place where they need to listen to themselves. Okay. They need to listen to their heart. They need to listen to their soul. All right. We're going to get some more messages here. Reunion. For some of you guys, you used to go for walks together. You used to hold hands, right? Right. It's like the hugs that you used to give this person used to be so rewarding for this person. All right, what else do we have for this connection here? What else do we have for this connection here? One more, thank you. Waiting, yeah. I'm waiting for cancer to do something. I'm waiting for cancer to approach me. I'm waiting for cancer to fix this again. I'm waiting. Also, I feel like my cancers are waiting for the right voice, right? I'm waiting for the right person. Regrets. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, we have regrets here. So someone here is having a lot of regrets. Okay, this could be you. This could be this person. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like my cancers are waiting for the right green light, right? I'm not just jumping into things anymore. I'm not just saying yes to any offer, right? Whether I made you feel good or not, right? You were cold at some point. And I'm not going to ignore that because I want to ensure this is not something that's going to play itself out again, right? I just want you to be honest. I want you to be open. Why is it so easy for you to just shut me out, shut us out so quickly? And if you're able to do that, I need to listen to myself because possibly I wasn't hearing something, right? I wasn't hearing your cry for help. I wasn't hearing your, your void. I wasn't hearing something, right? I wasn't listening to some extent. But now I'm going to embrace the connection that I have with the divine on earth here, I'm going to embrace it. And as I embrace it, I'm able to hear deeper when I have conversations with someone that's trying to translate love to me, right? So love you, Tarot. And if you're trying to translate love to me, I'll be able to distinguish it because I've created an amazing relationship with myself during this time of 
isolation, right? Once you left me alone, right? I came in union with myself. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of you guys don't mind waiting for the right person. I'm waiting for the person that speaks their truth, right? Whether it's a dark truth or whatever it is, speak your truth. Be honest, right? Yeah, I know there's like a lot of regrets, but there needs to be a conversation of honesty. I feel like you just waited for this person long enough to open up and now you're just in a place where you're understanding love is within. Okay. What else do we have here for my cancers? Silla V Tarot. Again, if you guys are looking for a personal reading, my email is below. And we could definitely talk about that. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Still pinning. So somebody's still trying to figure out how to get to you, Cancer. But I feel like it's like I'm not hearing what I want to hear. Like this is not what I want to hear. Right. Some I feel like someone may contact you and just tell you that they miss you. Uh, but you feel like their communication isn't. Isn't open enough for you. You understand it's it's still a bit cold to some extent right this was meant to be all right this was definitely meant to be cold shoulder right i feel like my cancers are really just turning their back on a lot of um connections at this time connections that just don't fulfill you right i i just feel like at this time you really want to be treated with respect you want to be treated with um this equal love love yeah this equal love that you're seeking that you've already found within and you're just seeking for someone to match that okay so i feel like you know i feel like there's a trust issue with this person now right and i feel like you're just not really okay with the way that this person keeps secrets and how they constantly hold back and how they constantly not open up to you and how they constantly ghost you you understand you're ghosting my love you're ghosting my emotions as if i'm not standing here with you as if i'm not your heaven on earth right because god knows i'm your heaven on earth not to be cocky or anything you know what i mean but i feel like you guys listened to this person but now you're you're really focusing in on their truth yes you would hear this person out yes you were that uh shoulder that person could cry on and they know that, but they were cold, okay? Possibly from something in the past here. Looks like this person was still holding on to a lot of things in their childhood, holding on to things in a dark place, and they couldn't communicate to you, right? Because I feel like you guys were ready to listen to this person. I feel like you were ready to love this person, but this person wasn't ready to speak up, right? They weren't ready. There we go unspoken feelings they weren't ready to speak up you understand so because of that now it's just different it's like you put me on ice for a while right but i feel like this person's in a place where they're feeling like this is not over right this is not over yeah this may not be over but i don't know if we're able to start something new again because I feel like we need to listen to each other. We really need to hear each other's souls. Right? Yeah. We need to really listen to each other. And I feel like you guys are not really going to step into a place where you're not allowing someone to just shut you out whenever they think it's okay. Or introduce other earthly pleasures into this connection. Not saying that this person shouldn't have their own life, but I feel like you don't feel like this person treated you with courtesy, okay? With love, with companionship, c'est la vie tarot. I don't feel like you felt like this person was ready. All right, and now you've stepped into this energy of I'm listening to you, okay? So when this person contacts, my cancers are just on a whole different vibration. The vibration is just extremely different. Thank you. Extremely different. I feel like this person may feel like they're very lonely at this time. Okay, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Cancer, 
or you could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo okay I feel like this person wants to open up at this time okay for some of my cancers I'm also hearing there's someone that you're meeting that's actually coming from a rough relationship and they want to open up to you they want to express themselves to you okay Aquarius as well I don't know if I said that but again like I said this person's feeling like they're alone they don't have anyone and they're allowing the universe to take over because again you know this person was very guarded at some point extremely guarded not sure how to open up not sure how to um, let someone enter but one thing that they do know you were definitely that person that loved them the connection was definitely a heavenly connection all right and they forgot to listen. They forgot to hear your soul. They forgot to hear you out. They weren't listening to you. But I feel like this also brought you into a place where you're so listening to yourself, right? And you're not allowing someone that's going to be cold and treat you like your second to just walk back into your life. You're just not going to do that. Right? You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your soul. You're protecting yourself. Okay, because now you have the universe. The universe is definitely surrounding you and protecting you. It always has been, but I don't feel like you were listening. But now you're listening, right? What else can my cancers expect? Here, a new offer. Who is this new person? A new offer wanting to come in. However, my cancers are taking their time right a new offer for some of you you're just starting something new when it comes to business here again cancers don't be guarded all right don't be so guarded you don't want to be guarded to the point where you're not you know analyzing certain things you know be open thank you what else can my cancers expect for the month of december here so la tarot what else could they expect here a new offer again there's a lot of new offers here someone's extremely attracted to you missing you making a decision wanting to make a decision feeling like you were their world all right but i feel like cancers are focused on their world right now um a lot of attraction cancers someone's extremely attracted to you okay it could be a fire sign here ace of swords I want to offer you something new. I miss you. Right? I want to hold you again. I want to embrace you again. I want to embrace you. The world. Right? My cancers have stepped into this new energy of new. Closing out old chapters. You know? I Yeah. I feel like you guys, your energy is so changing. You know? Equal give and take. I want to be in... I want love. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. I'm ready to jump into this new um, connection here. However, you know, I want equal give and take and I wanna do that um, with myself first, okay? But this King of Swords here, they have a lot of emotions for you, holding back for a while. Very protective of their emotions. See, I feel like my Cancers are not even wanting to really, uh, you know, do that anymore, right? I'm here to listen. I could understand that you're protective, but I'm here to listen, right? So I feel like you guys are just listening to yourself, seriously. Listening to your intuition. Queen of Wands here. Focused. I'm focused. Okay. But like I said, moving forward here, I feel like you guys are putting yourself first. Stepping into this new energy of an awakening, a new beginning, new love, transition right no longer being cold towards yourself no longer staying in cold um stagnant situations where you're waiting for someone to understand this heavenly connection right if you don't understand it then yeah i don't know right again c'est la vie tarot i love you guys um have an amazing one my email is below if you guys are interested in a personal reading all right thank you very much have a good one